Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and I'm here with... Delilah S. Dawson! And we're here to talk about Star Pig. Star Pig! In the story, is the preserve to such a degree that that is literally a disc man? Like, is there actually a oh, compact yeah. disc in there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a, she has like a disc man full of CDs. My, my daughter, um, we won't, we wouldn't let her have something like Spotify because the world is awful. Uh, cause she's 12. So we were like, here's your disc man. We'll buy you compact discs. So she like, she thinks she's very retro and very cool at school. The kids are like, oh my God, what is that? Wow. Why are your earbuds connected by a wire? <laughs> oh, and okay, right here, the douche, douche, douche. I was I, I really loved the show Frisky Dingo by Adam Reed. It was like what he did before Archer, and mm -hmm. uh, the this, the extagles scream boosh boosh. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna play with that because that that's what you know it might sound if your space camp bus was being hit by meteorites. Uh, do, are they are they aware that, that Earth is a cultural refuge? They have no idea. Okay. It's like if, if we were actually in an alien zoo, we wouldn't actually right. know. So yeah, they have no idea. But the culture has been sort of stopped at a certain point, right? Like like. For progress or yeah, whatever. no, the, the aliens have not come in and gotten like the 2738 coolness. It's like, I'm guessing sometime around now-ish is mm. when it happens. So all the stuff in space is older stuff. You're not going to go out there and find like Popple 7.0. They're just the old school stuff. But the people on Earth do have Popple 7.0? No, no. No, okay, nobody has I mean, it. I, I nobody think, has I think, it. Uh, like Vess is kind of into the nostalgia, but as you can see, like the other kids are definitely, they've moved on with their own time. Okay, okay. Oof, lights go out, kind of scary. Yeah. People been afraid of that happening on an airplane. Yes. <laughs> but uh, probably a little bit worse. Well, no, <laughs> I guess if your airplane got hit by a meteor, it'd be just as bad. Yeah, if it was like cut in half by a giant thing, that would, that yeah. would not be good. Yeah, it's not the lack of air that's gonna hurt you at that point. So all the other kids that were listening are strapped in to their spaceship, but because Vess wasn't paying attention, she's not strapped in, so she goes floating out as soon as the, the meteor hits. Which <laughs> is why she lives.